uh, one of our guys here from the marketing department, he said, hey, you have this new cool stuff, this x grid this small one. Uh, can I use this for my uh, homeland uh, study research project in my free time? And they say, yeah, you can have it. Let's try what we get out. And he used it. And he used also this Gaussian splatting option, what we can get with this uh, scanner. And he get amazing results out. And if you are like to see what is the new stuff for historical research uh, capturing technology, stay tuned. So let us start. Lucky wise, my colleague uh, take a GoPro during his test. So here, let us check. This is the Lixel K1 having like a small DJI sensor um, on top. It's the same sensor like in DJI drones. And then you have few cameras for visual tracking and colorization. This system runs by an, uh, an app. You starting the app, then he asks you that you put the scanner first on a fixed position for initialization of the in, in, uh, inertial motion unit. So that takes a little bit, some, some I don't know, 30 seconds or something you see there, 10 seconds below. So and then he grabbed the, um, the system and start to running. These are old graves. Uh, they are super old. Uh, they are from the Megali time. This is, uh, we checked this, this is 3,600 years before Christus was born. So how, that's how old this is, also very old. So. Um, and now he works here on this public way. Interesting is this scanner have maybe in range from 40 meter only. Now we have here this um, grave, what is pretty close to a public road. So in the very open space, I'm super lucky that the tracking is already working here well. And then you check out this uh, location, then he works up this forest way, and then he moves up in the site. And it's a little bit interesting because this here, it's maybe looks a little bit bushy. <laughs> so it's maybe not the best area for slam tracking. But you see, he already have the track here on his um, control panel on this tablet app, here another grave. And then he walks more and this is a typical German forest in the close to winter time. So not so many trees, um, leaves on the trees. So, and here we have another mega lead and he make a turn. So, and then he walks here. And then also amazing here, now he left here in, um, the first section and he go now to an open space area. We have some green fields and then some farming areas here. And even here, the tracking is working super well. And we have another mega lead. He, he now moves here and then he goes quickly back in the forest, take the same way back, coming here to this forest road. And then he stop it here and you have to put the scanner again on the same place, waiting that the app is closing and they take some of the last emo data and store them to make a, later make a uh, recalibration of your data set. So that's what he done. We're going to these final results and that's this interesting now. Now we are here in this x with software and that's amazing. This is the Gaussian splatting, what I told you. So that's what we get out fully automatic from this data. It looks like a 3D video and uh, it is based on a point cloud and with this Gaussian splatting method, um, um, single pictures will be projected on this VD mesh information or on the point cloud. And you get from this, this is a permanent rendering and you get this super realistic view here of this uh, megalith grave. And then we can also walk here in the forest sections. Looks here, this looks super amazing. Or even the point cloud in this bushy area where I was saying maybe the tracking will going lost. Even here we have a super smooth, nice point cloud for such entry market level devices and easy to handle. Like a guy who grabbed this system, runs in the forest, captures some areas who find super interesting. Looks here how realistic this looks like. So that's really, you have the feeling that you are going with the guy. So I, I can see there are many applications, especially for these historical guys. So that's a super low price option to get a very realistic feeling. I don't know if they are able to put this in a VR, um, in a VR goggle so that you can capture this and can put this in a museum and other people can see these. So in this, um, looks here, this is the outside area. Even here we have a very nice point cloud for such device, what is really uh, the lowest what you can buy from the market. But what you can get out from these small cameras, the realistic view, I think this is a super nice technology. So I can see it here for this uh, application, but maybe there's a lot of other application like um, even like for forensic or 
especially real estate capturing, so what the maybe people doing now with a Matterport, maybe this is a much better option and easier and more realistic. So uh, as I find it super interesting, I, I think maybe have now a challenge that every of our guys in the company should take this uh, uh, system on the weekend and capture something what you like. Maybe the only one is that we have a lot of data, but to be honest, the data set are not really super big. So I think you can handle it. So and with this, um, um, I will close my, uh, uh, my uh, this uh, presentation about what you can do with these Gaussian splatting based on point clouds and images. So if you are interested, so uh, yeah, maybe the best is we are only um, can help people here in the German speaking area like Germany, Austria, Switzerland. Uh, but other people they're interested. Actual is Lixel the only one who have it integrated? Then maybe check out the uh, Xcode website and looking for a local uh, dealer in your country and ask them if you are interested. I can say that for uh, really some application, this is a super nice technology and the coolest, coolest stuff what I figure out this year. So everybody's amazing. Every, everybody's super happy if you see it. So it's super impressed from the results, but what you can get out here. So then uh, stay tuned and don't forget, if you like this cool stuff and you like to see more, subscribe our channel and leave a comment. Yeah, that's uh, you help us to grow so and more people can see what we are doing here. Bye bye, Eric.